Hi folks, um, this is my battery box, I just made this battery box, it's taken me a couple of hours to, to make it, I'm um, going to be using it for like charging batteries when I'm away sea kayaking or away on holiday or anything really, if I'm away for a day and I need 12 volts or 5 volts, this is what I'm going to use. So it's a waterproof box, go on eBay, I'll send you the link. It's foam filled, but I've taken out the extra foam, this is the extra foam you get with it, it's all neatly cut, so if you if you need to cut it yourself, it's uh, dead easy. That's the only thing I've still got to do is just add foam. Now, this is my battery box. Now, I'll show you the internals of it first before I show you what's actually happening here. So what we've got is, I'll just unplug these. We've got two 12 volt batteries. Um, quite low charge just now. So this is two six volts. They are twelve amp hour each. Is that right? Uh, yes it will be. And that's a twelve amp hour twelve volt battery. So these combined are in series, as you can see the link here, are twelve volt, twelve amp hour, twelve volt, twelve amp hour, which will give me twelve volts. If I run them in parallel, twelve volts 24 amp hours, which will give me one amp continuous use for tw 24 hours, um, which is a lot. So what I've done is I've, I've got this wee thing here on eBay. Um, it's a, I think it was about 10 pounds delivered. It's got USB, one amp, and says 21 amp, but that's 2.1 amp. Sorry, there it is. Um, a voltage tester and a cigarette lighter, or a cigarette socket which is dead handy because I've got something else here which if I don't need that I can plug this in and this is basically just a, another wee cigarette lighter to USB adapter just plug that in there and I've got another um, another output for USB 5 volts I've also got one like that that's got two outputs similar to that so I won't show you this now, we'll just pop that away. I've got a fuse, uh, I think it's a 2 amp fuse, inline fuse, and a switch. The reason I've used the switch is because this is a reduction to 5 volts, there will be a transformer here. Um, so if I don't switch the voltage, the transformer will, oh, it's just like a resistor, um, there will be a very small loss on it, so it will run dry after a long time um, without any use. Hence the reason I've switched it. So when it's not in use, it's kind of splash proof, um, which, is, which is quite good. Um, but the, the box is waterproof anyway, so I'm not really overly, overly concerned about that. Now I've added this wee switch here, um, again, because I don't want the voltage meter running all the time. I just want, if I'm if I need to check the voltage, I can just press that for a few seconds and the voltage comes up, which I'll demonstrate shortly. So that's the front, this is the back. So your live and neutral come in here and they run the live runs directly to the, the inline fuse through the fuse to the switch and then it's connected to various components in parallel to keep the 12 volts and the negative volts is basically just um, running between the three and then straight back out again so I'll let you see that for a second or two pretty simple these components, that was about a pound fifty. I found that uh, in an old uh, power supply, and that was about a pound fifty as well. This was a tenner. The plastic was just old plastic I had lying around. Um, box was about twenty five pound, and the batteries I had them lying around as well. I thought it was faulty, but it was just really low. So I've, I've managed to prove that these batteries are fine again. So what I do is they're not fully charged just now, but um, they're sufficient to, to show you how we're going to do this. Now I'm not going to connect them both in parallel just now. Um, I'll put the 0 volts on this battery because I think this one's probably the highest charge. And the 12 volt line on there as well. So you can see that's how it goes. Now it's quite a nice fit here actually. Um, there's not a lot of movement which is good. And what I do is I just pop that in there. There's a wee step on the box, I should have mentioned that. There's a wee step here. So I've made this a quite a good fit so it doesn't 
fall inside. So I pop it on here and it sits on the step. There we go. So there you go. Um, we'll turn it this way now so you can see better. I'll pop something under it as well. Right. There we go. So it's off just now. So if I switch it on, it does nothing until I press this. It gives me the voltage. So it's 10.6 volts. It's pretty low just now. It should be sitting around about 13, 13 and a half. A fully, fully charged 12 volt battery. So I can use my USB. This is um, a wee battery pack. There's the lights on there. Didn't realise I had lights. Uh, you'll just see them switching off. There you go. So there you can see it would be a, a current loss or a, or a voltage drop over this with zero volts. Um, that's why I wanted to switch. So I can just plug this in. I think this is a one amp. Um, one amp, yeah. So I can plug that into anyone. And that's it. That's it charging. So I can check this. It's probably dropped quite a bit. It's at six volts now. It just shows you it's, it's pretty low. Um, these batteries just now. I'm still charging them. So we can also use like a phone. I've got my, my Blackberry here. Um, I think that's a one amp input as well. Um, what we'll do is we'll pop that on here. Just to demonstrate it. There's a wee LED. Pop that on there. And there you go, that's charging as well. So, fantastic. Now it's probably dropped a wee bit further again. 5.96. Um, very low just now. But not, not to worry anyway, this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to give them a really good charge. So I'll unplug this and take that out. Uh, but it's not in use, I'll just pop that back in there. And like I say, this is a great wee feature, the voltage tester. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I'll unplug this as well. So there we go. I hope you like this. Um, I'll link some of the parts on the on the description. So you, if you fancy making this yourself, that's great. And plug that in. It's splash proof. Um, it's not going to take submersion, but this is waterproof. This box. We've got a nice seal around this edge here. So I hope you like it. I like it. Uh, weight wise. Bloody heavy. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. I'm guessing in the region of 8 to 10 kilos. But that's pretty good. Like I said, the only thing I've still got to do is package these batteries in a bit better. I'm just going to pack some foam round about just to stop the movement. Uh, and that's me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like it. Don't like if you don't like it. And please feel free to leave comments. Cheers.